So just come through with me. We're going to come back here and I'll talk about some Researching what you want to be when you grow up is very different nowadays. Teacher, rock star or humanitarian, there's hours of stuff on the internet. But when your dream is to become a veterinarian or a vet nurse so you can help sick animals get better again, well, the net just doesn't compare to being granted a rare behind-the-scenes view of Australia's largest specialist and emergency hospital as part of a week-long Future Vet Kids Camp in Sydney. So just like in a human theatre, there's a sterile area that people, you're not allowed to touch unless you've got, you know, glove and gowns on and so on. It's especially cool when the chief surgical specialist at the Animal Referral Hospital, Dr Sarah Goldsmith, shares her passion for all things veterinary. So this is our main kind of treatment area, intensive care ward. This is where all of the animals that need kind of continuous care are, or if they've just come um, out of surgery and they need to have intensive monitoring afterwards, they'll all come here. This is Lincoln, who is a naughty puppy of Carolyn's that just <laughs> possibly ate the pin, but we're lucky it hasn't. We just took x-rays to check. And he looks so cute now, but he's a little terror. <laughs> He's normally charging around at a million miles an hour. So everybody who's going into the MRI has to have been trained in how to, you know, be careful and safe in the MRI. And you'll be able to see them go in. They they have to make sure they take off anything that's metal, unless it's gold jewellery is okay. But pretty much, you know, hair grips, things like that, um, you have to be careful. So this is where we do X-rays. Uh, so we still. We still take x-rays or radiographs, even though we have all these fancy fandangled machines, but these are digital x-rays. Well, the tour's only half over, so what do they think so far? I'm having so much fun. <laughs> this room on the right is where we do the dentistry. Are you okay if people come and look in here? Yeah, it's Are you all right with gory, everybody? If you want to be a vet, you've got to cope with gory. <laughs> so they're just doing some dentistry. Scaling. Extraction. Move, yeah. yeah, she's doing an extraction. This is a kind of, if you think about the spine, these are, this is like a cross section through the spine like that. And this white material is the disc that's popped up and is putting pressure on it. And that's the inside of the canal where the spine should be running. And this white material is disc that shouldn't be there. So that disc has popped up and squished the spine. So the spine should take up all that space and it's only being squished into the black bits of the spine that's being squished into a probably less than half of it. Yeah, the cord's being squished. For the campers, a highlight of the tour okay, is getting <laughs> gowned up for surgery. Put your thumb on that. And then with the other hand, bring that up over your fingers. People sometimes will faint in theatre when they first put a mask on because it kind of feels weird. Um, so don't feel bad if it kind of feels funny. <laughs> Just take it off if you need to to start with. But you have to get used to that sort of feeling when you've got one on. Who wants to try putting that gown on and gloves? Go for it. That's it, so stand up. Kind of flip your hands in without touching anything. No, wrong way. No. That, that hand is, no, no, what? sorry. It's gotta go across your front, that's oh. it. Like that, oh, okay. there you go. I know, it's big. It's a large one, sorry. And I'm going to tie this. I'll pretend it was tied around the front, but I've already untied that. Okay, now you have a go with those gloves. Okay, I don't know how to put the gloves on. All right, I'm sterile. Just pretend I'm sterile. Thumb to thumb, hand face up. That's it. Grab the cuff through. Can you, like, grab it? Yep. Oh. Grab it through. The, this hand grabs that side. I can't. <laughs> okay, now use the other hand through here. Just pull it over. That's it. So you're going to kind of pull it like that. There you go. Right now, you grab, yeah, that's it. Wiggle, wiggle, yeah, okay. Yay. Okay, so that's one hand. It's going to be really big on you. So despite having lots of fun and obviously yeah. learning a lot, what's the attraction? Why do these young people want to be vets rather than choose another career? The, like, detectiveness of it, the have having to solve the case mm -hmm. and figure out what's wrong and also the diversity between each of the things that you'll be doing. Okay, cool. Watching the dental surgery. Oh, okay. Yeah. Would you like to be a dentist? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe? Okay. It's a well, possibility. We'll I want to find out. Why do you want to be a vet? 
But what do you think you want? I just really love animals and I want to help them out. Okay. And have you enjoyed the Royal Hospital? Yeah, it's been yeah. really cool. I've learned a lot. I want to be a vet nurse, so it's really helpful and a really good experience. Um, yeah, I do work experience at my local vet clinic. And I got to see surgeries. Um, that there's various different ways that you can <laughs> check animals are okay, and um, the scrubbing up and stuff is really cool. Does it have anyway? Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed the trip, and seeing how vets work is really enjoyable. Why do you guys want to be vets? Because I want to work with animals. You want to work with animals, okay? And. <laughs> and what's been the best part of today at AOH? Um, I really liked uh, going around and seeing the operations. The operating theatre and all yeah. the rest of it and the animals, yeah? Mm. Good, okay. And um, what's the best part about Future Vet Kids Camp? What do you like about that? It teaches you and it like helps you prepare. Prepare for? Prepare for like if you go to university okay. and stuff, yeah. Oh, tell us something special about Super Future Vet Kids Camp. This is my seventh year. Your doing seventh it. year? Yeah. Okay, and uh, what's the best thing about the camp? Uh, they really like inclusive to everyone and they make sure that you learn lots of stuff. And yeah. Fantastic. Can we see your face? Hey, yes, there is some cuddling of kittens and pups and grown-up pets, but after today, these future vet kids campers know there's potentially a whole lot more they can do to help pets live long and healthy lives. Mm -hmm.